comprehensive news for the deaf on NTA Abe Okota. I am Sheyi Ogunbayo. Insecurity and lack of adequate support from relevant authorities has been identified as some of the general factors responsible for continuous hike in the price of cassava and it is by-product in the market. In Abe Okuta, the Ogun State Capital, a cross-section of respondents including farmers, traders and consumers suggest the way out of the scarcity of cassava to mitigate the effect of the hike in its price. Teti Youth has benefited from the skill acquisition and training program organized by the Dangote Cement Company, Ibeshe, in partnership with the Federal Government Industrial Training Fund, ITF. The beneficiaries were selected from the company's host communities as a way of giving back to the host community through its corporate social responsibility. Okpayemi Sadiq Olowo Okere is a 2020 graduate business administration from the Federal Polytechnic Ilaro and has been jobless since completion of the National Youth Service before this opportunity to turn around his fortune for better. The Chief General Manager Dangote Cement Plant Ibeshe Johnson Michael, while charging the beneficiaries, explained that the company has so far trained 305 youth from its host communities in different skills to impact on the local economy and be self-reliant in line with the vision of the federal government. The chief general manager of the company and Ogun State Commissioner for Youth and Sport, Wasiu Isiaka, assured that effort would be more geared towards lifting many youth out of unemployment and poverty and provide them with needed infrastructure for self-sufficiency. Ogun State government has reprunked in online recruitment advent purported to have emanated from the State Civil Service Commission. In a statement in Abe Okuta, the Permanent Secretary Civil Service Commission, Mrs. Roslyn Uluwato Jacob, advised members of the public to discharge the recruitment advent. In the said online advent, the commissioner was reported to have called on prospective applicants to apply for various vacancies in the state's civil service. Mrs. Jacobs said the information was a mischief perpetrated by some unscrupulous individual bent on maligning the image of the state government and enjoined the general public to discontinent the online publication in its entirety. Ogun State Government has commenced the disbursement of 10,000 Naira cash award to primary and secondary school students in over 2,000 public schools of the state. Akim Jimo reports that the gesture is in fulfillment of the promise made by Governor Dakwa Abiodun to assist indigent student, students in the state. The Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Professor Abayomi Aribabu, who monitor the exercise notes that the policy is one of the numerous programs initiated by Governor Dakwa Abiodun to bring succor to residents in the wake of prevailing ash economy. Ogun State House of Assembly has passed a resolution seeking immediate action to end reoccurring violence in the area of Ipokia local government of the state. This follows a motion of urgent public importance moved by the member representing Ipokia Idiroko constituency, ADBC Oyedele. Parliamentary correspondent Yemi Dalimo reports that the House also played host to the Police Public Relations Officer, Ogun State Command, Omolaja Odutola. Ogun State House of Assembly has screened the President Ogun State Court of Appeal nominee forwarded to it by the Governor Dakwa Abiodun. The lawmakers charged the nominee to justify the confidence reposed on him in the discharge of his duty to the state. Yemi Dalimo reports. August State Governor Dakwa Abiodun has urged Muslims to use the period of Ramadan to pray for Nigeria to overcome the various challenges currently facing the country. Governor Abiodun urged Nigerians, especially the well-meaning, to help the needy in their communities during this Ramadan period. The governor encouraged the people to put all hands on deck in the ongoing effort 
by the federal, state, and local government to create a better Nigeria that the citizens will be proud of. He acknowledged that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu administration is focused and determined to make Nigeria better economically, adding that Nigerians must buy into those efforts and give their maximum support to the government. He encouraged Muslims to observe the fast with utmost devotion, seeking spiritual purification and a closer connection with Allah, urging them to pray for peace, unity and progress of the country. Ramadan is referred to as the holy month in the Islamic parlance, the ninth month in the Muslim calendar. What then are the expectations from Muslim as Ramadan is underway? Kemi Onusholusiki finds out from Muslim scholars. Ramadan is expected to strengthen the faith of Muslims since they abstain from food, drinks, and other acts during fasting. It also affords faithful the opportunity to gain more knowledge of the Almighty Allah and the tenets of Islam through deliberate study of the Holy Quran, Hadith, and Tafsir. The months also come with other obligations like giving to the less privileged and refraining from violence, anger, and backbiting. Ramadan is divided into three segments which brings about forgiveness, blessings, and success. The Night of Majesty, otherwise known as Lalatul Qadri, is another important aspect of the ninth month, when faithful are expected to keep vigil in expectation to receive more blessings from Allah. The holy month of Ramadan holds significant spiritual value for Muslims worldwide and serves as a reminder to work on their self-improvement and spiritual development. Oyin Kosola Ojelade reports that the observance of Ramadan fast is an integral part of Islamic rites and that is observed with supplication and devotion to God by millions of faithful around the world. Muslim, Muslim faithful have been advised to strictly adhere to the five pillars of Islam, not only during the Ramadan season but also throughout their lives. The importance of the fundamental obligations was emphasized at the first annual Ramadan lecture held in honor of the late chief imam of Egbaland, Sheikh, Sheikh Liadi Onusholu at Igbeni Hall, Itagemo, Igbeni Abeokuta, Oyinkosola Ojelande brings details. That is all for this week edition. Join us again same time, same station next week. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.